Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermit Pack server. In today's episode, we're going to be doing something a little bit different, taking a big, uh, break from both base building and technical stuff, and we're going to play around a little bit with the Hermit Quest mod and fight some Hermit bosses. I think that could be kind of fun. Uh, so, I've got some items that I have found. I've got the At block, the Castle Diorite, the Zombie Flesh block, Ocean Glass, and the Tea Plant. Uh, I believe the tea, the tea plant is Biffa, Ocean Glass, I'm not sure. The At block is Joe Hills, Diorite is Zul'jin, and Zombie Flesh is Zombie Cleo. Um, but, before we can get into that, we need to make one of these Hermit Summoners here. And I think that's the only thing I need. I hope. <laughs> um... So, and I'm not really sure exactly how this mod works. I think you use the Hermit Summoner, and then you put the, the thingy on top of it, and then it summons the Hermit Boss. I think that's how it works. But we're going to try it out and see. Um, let's just put it down, like, right here. And then let's try putting... Let's start with Joe Hills. Let's just go right down the line. We put that there. No? Is, is that not a thing? Hmm. Okay. Hermit Summoner. Do I need two? Oh, nope, you do it like that. I figured it out. Wow. Dang it. <laughs> and they, they make sounds. And, wow, they, they have a lot of health. Dang it. Dang it. I mean, I should be... Dang it. Why am I not replenishing? Oh, I am. I'm just not re Wow, he teleports around. And apparently all of the hermit bosses have a weakness of some sort, but I don't know what that weak that weakness is. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Wow, and I am replenishing super super Dang slow. Dang it. Dang it. I can always fly up into the air though if I need to. And eat some food. And he's just kind of stuck down here below me. I don't know if they replenish or not. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. But he dang just... It. it looks like Joe Hills just says dang it. Dang it. <laughs> over and over again. Dang it. And wow. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Still. <laughs> kind of cool. Dang it. We'll have to see what the other hermits say as well. Um, and then we'll have to see what kind of drops they, they have, of course. I don't know if they always drop the same things, or if there's a benefit to fighting them multiple times, or or what. This sword is not... I mean, apparently they just have a massive amount of health, but... Ow! Hey! Joe! I thought we were friends, buddy! Leap! Man! I'm taking some, some pretty significant health damage here. And I don't know if they all teleport around? I guess we'll find out. Dang it. Dang it. Let me finish bringing him down, and we'll see, uh, we'll see what we get. All right. I think we've almost brought him down. <laughs> so much health. Look at my sword. My sword has just taken insane durability damage. There we go. So what did he drop? He dropped a Joe Hills banner, a Joe Hills special book, and a bunch of gold ingots. Let's see. Was it a bocce ball? If so, my condolences, those hurt worst of all. Well, except for fireballs. Joe Hills. Precog mail is great, but it's currently limited to the DC area. And pricing structure is murder. So, does it just... <laughs> it just gives random Joe Hills quotes. That's fantastic. And then we've got the Joe Hills banner. Which is the Joe Hills uh, art for uh, the Hermit Pack. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let's try another one. Let's see. Um, we've still got our Hermit Summoner thing over here. And let's go let's go with Zul'jin next. I was using this thing as a weapon, actually. So we break that, and there's Zul'jin. <laughs> Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Oh. Oh. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Oh, he Son throws potions or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he throws some sort of... Oh, he throws weakness potions at me. Son of a gun. Oh. 
He doesn't seem... He doesn't teleport around, though, so... That'll make things a little bit easier. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. And he just says, son of a gun, over and over and over again. <laughs> All right. Let's bring down Zul'jin and see what he gives me. All right, we've almost got him down. He's so close, every hit does like half a heart of damage. So it takes a long time. I, I think the, the goal, of course, is that you're supposed to find their weakness, uh, which every hermit apparently has a weakness, but I don't know what they are. And Zul'jin drops the miniature castle. And then... Where's my sleeping bag? Oh, I don't seem to have one. Okay. Well, let's see. I don't suppose I still have a bed in here, do I? Nope, I don't. All right, let's run back to our base real quick and sleep. And I need to repair my sword as well. This thing is almost completely gone. <laughs> it's in pretty rough shape. Um, but looks like he drops the miniature castle made of diorite. And then also um, a another item, uh, the banner, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, I need to take a look at that as well. Let's see what that thing looks like. Let's see here. Zul'jin's reward banner. So we've got Joe Hills and Zul'jin at the moment. A Zul'jin carrying a wand. Let's look at the, the miniature castle, which naturally faces the wrong direction when I place it. Uh, let's put it right here. Okay, so it's got a little miniature... Miniature castle, look. Does it always face the same direction? It appears to. Looks like it always faces... North? Hmm, interesting. Uh, I also have weakness for... Oh, nope, it's gone. It just went away. Okay, good. Uh, let's repair our sword here real quick. Super quick with the Torturino. I'll repair this stuff as well. And let's go try out another one here. Uh, this way. This way is where we put our thing. Let's take a look and see. And it looks like Zombie Cleo is next. Let's give her a try and see here. If we plop her block down. Oh. On top. There we go. You're cheating. You're cheating. <laughs> she ow, says, ow, ow, when you're cheating. You're cheating. And she summons you're husks. Cheating. She summons baby you're husks. Oh, that would get that are on fire. Ow. That's going to get really annoying. That would get so annoying so quickly. That couldn't possibly work as like some sort of experience farm, though, with all the husks. You're cheating. Hmm. Interesting. You're cheating. Ow. It's going to take me forever to Ow. kill her, though. Yeah, Ow. she just throws baby husks at you. Looks, it, I've found that the best way to just kind of repeatedly hit them over and over is kind of get them in the water like this. And then just smack on them. <laughs> so, I'm going to keep doing this, and we'll see if we can... We'll see what we get as a reward for Cleo. All right. Brought her down. Let's finish off all these baby husks. <laughs> Who are... Extremely annoying, by the way. Let's see, what do we get from Cleo? This Cleo's candy cane that has Fortune 5? Does this thing have durability? I don't think it does. Mine's dirt. Does this thing mine... Stone? At a reasonable speed, because Fortune 5, like, that's fantastic. Um, where can we find... I think in here? Yeah, this is where my mines are. Actually, we've got some cobblestone right here. Oh, look at that. Oh, but it does have durability. So, can I repair it in the thingy? Because Fortune 5, like... That's that's awesome. The only way to get Fortune 5 is through not through cheats, but like you can't you can't get Fortune 5 through normal methods. Uh, like this is the only way that I've found to do that. Also, let me know if the if uh Zul'jin's miniature castle is good for anything other than just aesthetics, just as a decoration cuz I don't know, I don't know if it is or not. 
Oh, yes, the candy cane does repair. So that's awesome. So we've got this Fortune 5 candy cane, and then we got Cleo's reward banner as well, which I'm just going to hang right up here. Let's take a look at that. Zombie Cleo. Nice. Looks good. Okay, so next is the Ocean Glass, and I'm not sure who Ocean Glass summons. Um, I really don't know. It might be just Sassin. That's possible. Could be just Sassin. Let's try it out. If we put this guy here. Yes, it is just Sassin. You're about to drown in chat. He's not actually... Oh, he doesn't actually say things. He just puts stuff in chat. Okay, good to know. So, if he says you're about to drown, does he actually... Oh, I'm drowning. I'm taking, like... I'm taking drown damage this entire time. Interesting. It does appear that my sword is doing more damage to him than... Previous... Hermits? Maybe? Maybe not. Let's just eat a little bit of food so I can recover some health. Uh, I think the best way to beat these guys is to get them into the water, where you can just kind of push them around with the sword. Uh, or at least to do it easily. Anyway, let me bring Jassassin down and we'll see what we get from him. Alright, we've almost got him. And there we go. So you got a bunch of gold. Looks like all the hermits drop a, a fair amount of gold, and then we got a Christmas hat. Which makes it snow. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it makes it snow just around me. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Okay, uh, let's go and see what this banner does. Or how it looks, I should say. We'll drop it off, and, or we'll uh, we'll put it up on the wall there, among our other ones. I love how all the backs, the backs of all the banners are Exuma, by the way, <laughs> when you hold them in your hand. So there's Jassassin, looking good, looking good. And then we can put, I really should make like a little shrine sort of thing. With all the Hermit Quest rewards. But the last thing that we have here is the Tea Plant. And that is almost certainly going to be Biffa. That's my assumption anyway. How are we doing on Daylight? The sun is about to set. Okay. So, let's see. Is my sleeping bag in here? Yes. Alright. I'll be able to sleep once we get over there. Uh, because I don't particularly want to fight at night, that's just one more, uh, especially right next to a village, because then things are going to spawn and come kill all the villagers, and I might actually need those villagers at some point. So, let's let the sun set. Let's put the tea plant right on top, okay? That didn't work. Um, tea plant. Tea leaf can be used to make potions. So maybe the tea plant doesn't summon Biffa? Hmm. I thought it would. Let's take a look at the... If I can spell. There we go. Let's take a look at the Hermit Quest mod here. So we got Golden Log, Escalium Ore, Jevon Slime, Zombie Flesh Block, Crown of Snake Leaves, that's Python, Crown and Stone... Crown and Stone may actually be me. Cat Litter is Scar, I'm guessing. Cosmic Dust, I don't know. Coffee Beans, Ocean Glass. Coffee Beans could be... Hmm. No, the Helmet and Stone, I bet that's me. Not really sure about the tea plant, though. I don't know... Can you plant the tea plant? Yeah, you can plant it. Does it grow? Like, if I take... That's not really a staff of growth, though. That's for accelerating machines. 
Oh. Weird noises because of doing it with the sack of storage. So it looks like we won't get to fight Biffa today, but still, that's pretty cool. We did get a couple of the hermit bosses uh, taken down, and we got some rewards. I think we do need some sort of, like, uh, system to... The other thing, too, I wonder if you could summon them in a room? Like, if I were to put them in my mob farm, where it does damage to hostile stuff, I wonder if that would work. That's probably worth checking. Let's pop down to the basement, and let's just see if they're considered hostile mobs. So if we come over... Oh, actually, you know what? I need all of these guys. Real quick. Uh, and I need a... So touch something. So I can do that. And then let's just pick up all of the spawners. And put those in here. There we go. So if I grab some sort of block. Let's just use basalt, I guess. It doesn't really matter. And we make a spawner. We put our hermit spawner right here. And then... Oh! Dang it. Breaking dark glass. Not intentional. That's okay. And we put you there, and do that, and I knock you off. Cheating. No damage. Okay. Yeah. So now, if I break this, and change this okay. to... Yeah. Damage... Okay. All? Doesn't look like she takes damage. Default. Yeah. Matches everything. Yeah, she should be taking damage. Although, yeah. I maybe... What if I change it to... Yeah. Damage... Like a player? Okay. Yeah, it looks like she's not taking any damage at all. Okay. So we got to do it the old-fashioned way. That's all right. We can do that. Uh, the uh, the husks, at least, will take damage. So let me bring down Cleo one more time. You're cheating. It was a worthwhile experiment, I think. All right. Wow, that took a really long time. Um, <laughs> that took a ridiculously long time, actually. Um, <laughs> Anyway, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and delete that. So we'll leave it on solid damage, and we want it to be generic. Um, right? Yeah, good. Okay. So it looks like the hermit bosses cannot be damaged uh, by artificial damage. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to try every single type. But I'm guessing if they can't be damaged by either player or generic damage from RF tools, I'm also guessing that means that they probably can't get damaged by anything else as well. I'm guessing it has to be the player. Um, maybe they were taking damage and it was... Maybe she was taking damage and it was just so minuscule that I didn't notice. But I think I, I, think I would have noticed since it's basically like half a heart uh, of damage every time. Uh, but we did get another banner. Maybe I can give that to Cleo, actually, as a gift. That would be kind of cool. Although I have no idea where Cleo is. Like, where her base is. Uh, I suppose I could leave it at her, her place in spawn. Maybe we'll do that and grab a sign. I do have one. Let's swing over to spawn and give her, uh, her banner. We'll do that. Uh, let's see. Uh, spawn village. There we go. 
Let's see, and I, I don't even know. Hmm. You guys might actually have to tell me where her base is, because I'm not really sure. I don't know. I haven't seen her on the server much, but maybe it's probably because she's in a different time zone and playtimes don't line up. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, guys, I think I am going to go ahead and call this one right here. It may have been a little bit of a shorter episode, um, but, you know, it was fun. I wanted to kind of explore this mod a little bit, and we'll, uh, we'll give Zombie Cleo her banner if I can ever figure out where to put it, uh, where she'll find it. But guys, that is going to do it for me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.